Oh man, the Venger Dungeon Master 2-pack, 70% off at Target? Yes, I'll take that home. All right, folks, let's have a look at what I got. Okay, friends, so I'm really excited about this purchase. Venger has always been one of my favorite villains from the cartoons. Um, and his, his presence has always been menacing and exciting, a deep, scary voice. He, I'm figuring out now that he really reminded me of David Warner's character, the evil one from Time Bandits. I'm not sure if it's that, that Warner's character reminded me of Venger or vice versa. And then also the Dungeon Master, um, for me, carries a close resemblance to Gwildor, personality and also slight design elements. Um, so having them uh, in my collection now really brings a very strong nostalgic wave. I was really excited when these figures were, re were released, although I do have to say that they were a bit pricey for me when they first came out. Um, and I'm really excited, by the way, about that that backdrop that's that's it's supposed to come with the cardboard cutout. Now, when Bobby Vintage Motu Bobby uh, on Toy Frenzy mentioned that he got these at $25.99. I was certain that uh, I that was still a little bit pricey for me, but I was certain that I'd have a hard time resisting. I walk into Target, there there they are for, you know, 15 bucks. Could not resist. Now, the thumbs up here is because the no plastic packaging is pretty rad. Um, so uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit. But here's the cardboard back uh, backdrop, which is beautiful. I mean, unbelievably beautiful. In fact, I think there's a Zodak sign on that little cart, which I'd never noticed before. And now we get to get into the paper packing here and open them up. And uh, it's sort of a great tactile uh, feeling opening up a paper bag. Um, so it's kind of great. Um, I was a little worried about the way stuff would look inside these paper packages because you can't see it through the clear um, plastic. Um, but that looks great. Uh, the wings look great. And then here, now this is exciting, folks. And I got a, a little shout out to my friend Dan over at the Dungeon Dive podcast and YouTube channel. These are my first uh, die. So um, it's sort of like I've known that guy for a long time. So it's probably a long time coming that um, I finally delve into that territory. Now let's get the Dungeon Master out here. Um, he does have a paint scuff and I'm not too frustrated about that. I would have liked to have that little bald head be flawless. But um, and, and one other thing to mention here is the articulation on the dungeon, dungeon Master is very limited. In fact, I get a little bit worried about the um, the fragile quality of his hands and wrists, but the, the body and the torso is solid. His head does not really move very much. You know what? The articulation aside, I'm excited to have this little character in my collection. I love the way he looks. Always have loved the way he looks. There's another little paint scuff there too. Um, so I'm excited to have him, uh, even if the articulation is not quite fantastic. Um, but to be honest with you, this particular character, Venger, is the one I've really been waiting for. Now, the plastic here on those those, those laser blasts or magic blasts, are a little bit warped, but the hand sculpts here are phenomenal, uh, really wonderful hand sculpts. Um, and that's a very soft plastic, those laser blasts, so, um, or magic blasts, so it can probably go back to normal. Has a little cone in there to keep the plastic from collapsing, which is great. Um, I went ahead and removed that. I don't need that in there now that he's gonna be standing up on my shelf. Good torso flexibility, pretty great. Um, his ankles are very, very stiff. His joints are stiff. His hands, you can you know pop them out and put in the laser blasts or the magic blasts. And this guy looks fantastic. He looks like he just popped right out of the cartoon. I think he's gonna look really great next to my Filmation Masters of the Universe um, uh, classics figures that, that Super 7 and Mattel put out. He's gonna look really great next to those guys. So uh, these figures are fantastic. I highly recommend you getting them. If you feel like paying full price, pay full price. Um, but I found them on sale, so go have a look at your targets, folks. Um, there's a good chance you'll find them there. 
at a fairly reasonable price. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the patrons of the Skelevator channel, Don Roberts, Carol Geis, Brick Something, My Buddies Customs, and Motu Origins Cork. You are amazing. Please be sure to tune in this Thursday night for another episode of Toy Frenzy. And uh, heck, um, I'll see you in the next video.